Are you tired of spending countless hours dialing a guitar tone? Are you tired of spending money that you simply don't have? Are you finding yourself being extremely frustrated and not wanting to play guitar? Hi, I'm Beth Jack, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix your crappy guitar tone. In just 10 minutes of your time, I will take you from sounding like Mark Knopfler to Jimmy Page. Let's get into it, gentlemen. So what's going on guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today we're going to be checking out how to fix your crappy guitar tone. You know guys, honestly I've been getting this question a lot and it's refreshing that I've been getting it because at one point in my career on YouTube I have had this exact same problem. I would dial up what I thought was a huge awesome heavy guitar tone and then I'd throw it in the mix of a project and all of a sudden my so called awesome heavy guitar tone sounds like absolute ass. But have no fear, I'm here to give my two cents on how I fix this problem. So uploaded right now on the screen is a project, I'm calling it the Tempting Time ripoff because the opening riff of this song that I've created sounds like Tempting Time by Animals as Leaders. So yes. I think I'm ripping it off, but oh well. So nothing in this project has been mixed. It's just a couple of DIs and a bass tone, right? And uh, so yeah, I have a a guitar patch loaded up on bias effects that I found in the very infancy of this channel. It's called Modern Metal, and I got it off of the Tone Cloud. And so I want to play you the two tracks back or together um, with this patch loaded up. Alright, so you get the idea, it's just a bunch of chugs, um, and honestly, you say what you want about guitar tones, some people don't really like guitar tones, you know, some people think some sound bad, some people think it sounds good. I downloaded this off the Tone Cloud because it was called Modern Metal, it's very tight and it's very bass heavy, and it's very, very heavy on the low end and no mids and high high treble, right? So it's kind of like when I, when I found this, I thought it was kind of like the dime stuff, you know what I mean? Like the early dime bag, early Pantera sound where it's a lot of bass and a lot of treble and not a lot of mids, right? So I would use this patch, I thought it was super heavy and I thought, you know, the low one was absolutely crushing because, you know, metal guitar players want a huge low end, right? Um, so when I would throw it back into the mix of a project, this is what it would sound like. sounds pretty bad, right? So say what you want about this guitar tone. Again, guys, I'm using it as an example. This guitar tone, this patch from the Tone Cloud on Positive Grid's website has a lot of low end, and that's what I'm trying to get to. Guitar players are so focused, again, on having a huge, crushing, heavy sounding guitar, and when they think heavy, they think a lot of bass. And that's not the case. It took me forever to figure this out. So in order to fix your guitar tone, you know, you spend all this time dialing up things that sound huge and heavy. What I'm telling you guys, is you gotta check your ego as a guitar player. Guitar players, you know, we wanna be the forefront of a song, we wanna have, you know, everything of ours in the forefront. We're the lead guitar player, we're the satchels, <laughs> we're the, you know, we're the Eddie Van Halens, man. We wanna, we wanna be in the foreground at all times, right? And that's not really the case, man. You gotta put your ego in check. The guitar itself is a mid-range focused instrument. And what that means is that it's not designed to have a lot of low end, and it's not designed to have a lot of high end. That's for other instruments. It's supposed to be very, very, very specific in the mid-range of a song. So now I'm gonna load up a, another guitar patch, um, the STL Tonality patch, um, the Howard Benson Suite, and then this is what I would like to create for a song. Alright, so again, nothing is mixed, these are just raw DIs and plugins, um, but what I'm trying to get is, here how much more mid-focused that plugin is, I mean, if, you, if I'll pull it up, this is the old England Swedish death metal, I mean, look what he has, he has, yes, he has a lot of bass, but look at the mids, right? I mean, it is, the mids are almost on 10, and that's my point, guys. You may be really good at dialing up a guitar patch, 
by itself, again, mixing in solo or just, you know, as a standalone, but when you throw it in with a bunch of drums and a bunch of, you know, other instruments like a bass or a lead guitar or vocals, man, your guitar is not going to stand out and it's not going to hold its place and not do its job for the song. So how to fix it, guys, is don't focus so much on being a heavy, low-end focused guitar, man. I'm telling you guys, the guitar is not designed for the low end. It's designed for the mid-range of the frequencies in your track. So guys, that's an easy fix. You can either do it in post or you can do it on your plug-in or actual amp. Just make sure you have a little bit more mids and cut out the low end. Just because a guitar sounds heavy and huge by itself with a lot of crushing low end, it just sounds in your face when you hit a palm mute or you hit an E chord, you know, it just sounds absolutely killer. Man, when it goes into track with other instruments, it's going to shit the bed and it's not going to do its job and it's going to sound out of place in a song. So guys, that's how I'd fix a crappy guitar tone. Give yourself some credit. You're probably not bad at dialing up guitar tones. You probably just don't understand how the guitar is fixing an overall song. Put your ego in check. I myself suffered from this for a long, long time and understand that the guitar is a mid-range focus instrument and it holds a specific job in a track. So guys, if you found this informational, educational, please, please like and share this video. It helped me out so much. And if you're brand new to my channel, please, please hit that subscribe button if you want to consider joining my friends and family on my YouTube channel. All my social media links and EPs are down below if you want to check those out. As always, my dudes, stay metal, and I'll see you guys next time.